Hey guys, welcome back to another FIFA mobile video with me. In this video, we are going to take a look into the method of fishing to make coins in FIFA Mobile 21. As you all know, recently I had made a video on fishing, but many of you had confusion with it. So in this video, I am going to get into a detailed explanation on the method of fishing. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on because this week I am going to bring a lot of market videos to you all which you certainly don't want to miss out on. Not only that, I am going to bring lots of entertaining content regularly. So it's better you subscribe. Now let's get into it. Now the method of fishing, many of you had confused it with manipulation. Now what you do in manipulation is you buy all the cards available of a single player and strike the market price up for it. For example, let me say uh, Let's take a card like a 60 rated any card. Let's check. Mm. Okay, let's take Palomino. So here we are. This Palomino card. Its average price is 15k. So in manipulation, what you do is you buy every card of Palomino available in the market and strike the market bot up at such a high rate that it buys cards when you place it even above 200 key. That's what manipulation is and it's banned by FIFA Mobile. Yes, it is. It's not a method which they approve because it seriously gives you an advantage over the other users. But in phishing, you don't do that. What you do is you select a specific OVR and you buy a lot of players in that OVR range. For example, I'm going to put a price tag say 10k and I'm going to buy all the 60 rated cards available under this price tag. Now I won't look at the nation, league or any of those specifications of those players. I'm going to buy every player available. So in this case, we may get some duplicates, but we won't be concerned with that either. All we need to do is buy every player we see, not thinking about duplicates or anything. For example, we buy, we are buying these cards for around 10k. So what we need to do next after finish buying is we're going to list that player on a fishing price. For example, say, let me say that I bought this 63 for around 10k. So what fishing price is I'm going to list is around 30k bid price to 50k buy now price on a 24 hour cycle. Now, if you are less confident with it while you are doing it for the first time, then maybe you can lower it a bit also. But that's what basically the fishing price is and that's what average most users place it at. So you can try that too. And then you are going to list every card on a 24 hour cycle on your fishing price you want to while keeping the duplicates. So whenever a spike occurs and one of your listed cards sold, you're going to rush to the market, see if you have any duplicates and check the suggested, which is generally above the price you sold them at. For example, if I sell this card at 50k and it gets sold, when I go and if the spike is still there, the suggested will be much higher than this. Now this way this goes on and on. Now in fishing, you don't actually create a spike. You are searching for spikes. That's where the variety comes into play. You need to have a variety of players to make it work. So you need to buy a lot of players in a specific OVR. Not that you are going to buy 60 to 69 whatever players available. Because in that case, you are just, what can I say, you are having too big variety. So you may not be able to catch a spike. While fishing in a single OVR gives you every variety of, mostly every variety of players in that specific OVR which increases your chance to catch the spike whenever it occurs in that specific, specific OVR. So this way, you are going to be able to catch more spikes, you are going to sell more cards and you are going to make more money. Now, fishing can be done in any OVR. It can be done in silvers, golds, even elites and masters. But thing is that when you are considering silvers, 
the number of sales in silvers will be much more than that of golds and the number of sales in golds will be much more than that of elites. Now why is this? Because manipulation is easier to do with the players which are less priced like silvers while it is harder to do with the players which are more priced like elites and masters. Now you may ask me what is this manipulation coming into? We are not manipulating right? Yes you are not but you are working on that manipulation thing because whenever a spike occurs it's due to the activity of the coin sellers or the manipulators who strike the price of that card up due to which you are able to sell it for a high price. So whenever you see a manipulation you see more it occurs in the silver or gold regions because their prices are less and they are easy to manipulate. But in Elis and Masters, they are harder because of their high price. So you need a lot of coins to manipulate them. So mostly at the start of the season, they stay away from it. So at the start of the season, you should do the same. You should stick with silvers and golds, especially silvers because they are the hot regions for fishing right now. But as the season progresses, you may also shift to Elites and Masters. Elites are still doing decent at the moment. Lots of players I have seen are selling Elites for decent prices. But Masters are currently dead at the moment and nobody is even trying them also. Considering the prices they are available at at the moment. So, what you need to do is, as the season progresses, for now stick to fishing silvers. With more time and time, when you start making more and more coins, when you are accustomed to it, start Elites and when you are master at it, start with masters at the end of the season and you are going to make a lot of coins and that's how most market traders are making coins this season and this season the market for fishing is really high so this is the way guys fishing i hope you all understood the method and the video helped if it did do leave a like and subscribe as i said for more enjoyable content in the future and if you want more videos Stay tuned, turn the notification button on. Also, in case you missed the first video on fishing, it's really important. I will leave a link to that down in the description below. Check that out and I will see you in a bit. Thank you.